Well, Madame Odia was a great treat from Jeopardy, but we've got another treat when it comes to the financial world. Morgan Stanley's James Gorman. Now, Morgan Stanley's stock are appropriately higher after what I regard as being just a simply great quarter. Chairman CEO James Gorman, welcome to Squawk on the Street. Thank you for uh, for coming to talk about how well your uh, your bank is doing. Happy to do it as long as you don't ask me to go on Jeopardy, Jim. <laughs> no, we're going to hold off on that. That's it. <laughs> Different, different subject. But you know what? You deserve to be on because, you know, what is the best wealth management business in the world? $300 yeah, billion in new money this year? What is happening that people can bring in $300 billion in wealth management? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the team's done an unbelievable job. Um, the, the reality is we're managing, you know, over $4 trillion, nearly $4.5 trillion. And with success comes success. We have a lot of clients who feel very comfortable with the brand, the platform, the technology we've invested in through E-Trade. I mean, it's just, it's all come together. This has sort of been our dream for over a decade. And finally, we're seeing the fruits of it. I mean, 12 years ago or so, I think our assets were about 500 billion. So they've gone up eight, nine times in that period. And as you know, this is very sticky money. It's a great business, so we're thrilled. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, there's At one point, Morgan Stanley, before you came in, had what I regarded as episodic earnings. There'd be good and then bad, good and then bad, and therefore it's very hard to give a price earnings multiple. The business that you're bringing in, uh, including, by the way, E-Trade, is really sticky and steadily grow, growth, secular growth. And I'm wondering what you, uh, when you sit around your board meetings, doesn't someone say, you know what, how come we're still at 12 times earnings? Because this is a secular growth story. It's not cyclical. I'm trying to understand why you're not given a greater price earnings multiple. Yeah, well, it's it's getting there. I mean, to be fair, we were, you know, we were sub 10, and I thought that was just nuts. Um, we're now managing, if you put wealth and asset management together, which give us the ballast, that's about six and a half trillion. On that, we're generating revenues of over 30 billion. Just that's, and that's very sticky. But on the other hand, the investment bank, and what it's done, the, the resurgence of fixed income after it was restructured dramatically in 2015, you know, equities number one, the investment bank itself and m and is on fire, the equity underwriting. So, Jim, it's this ballast and speed concept that I've talked about. And, you know, we, we're starting to get the multiple. I mean, we're getting the recognition. You look at some of the other pure wealth players in the marketplace, they're trading at, you know, 20, 30 times earnings. You know, we'd love a piece of that. And I think our investors are starting to understand that. So it's getting there. 